Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now we're taking a look at the nice, but could be expanded, Mojave Territories. But let's do a focus first, in which we shall go down and immediately maybe do more than two at the table? Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Let's do the NCR's finest. I like that one. It's only by relying on the men and women of NCR's armed forces that we will prevail in our upcoming struggles. Manpower and training and everything, and in time we will have enough to defend the entire Mojave, which sounds great to me. So, we got a couple comments to go through, and I'm going to go ahead and do something that we... Some of us might disagree with, but, you know what, I want a certain location address. But anyways, a couple comments. If I don't do anything, someone did say in the comments that NCR, will, or New Vegas, will join the NCR faction... That could be true. I, you're probably right, actually, with that. So, we got to prevent that. And by preventing that, I mean I want to annex them because, well, I need a trade node to get more money. So, New Vegas, I'm sorry, but not really. North Group taking a raid, so uh, I am planning, as you can tell, to go to war with New Vegas before they can join our faction, just because even though we could have them join us peacefully, we need money. New Vegas isn't the capital, so... And Nellis Air Force Base is, though. So, yeah. We probably don't need a ton of divisions. We just need to pierce their armor. And have enough planes to help do some ground attack. Which, at this point, I think we're doing pretty darn well. So, next one up. A secret most profound. Oh. New Vegas will be prevented from obtaining the Platinum Ship. However, it is bound to turn Mr. House against us, possibly even sparking, sparking an attack. Cool. House's armies are missing something. We can't quite put our finger on what, but... Whatever it is, has Mr. House bent over backwards to try to get his hands on it. This not, must not be allowed to happen. We have long suspected that Mr. House is plotting against us, and we're plant, plotting against it, and obtaining this object would surely only strengthen his hand against us. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll join, maybe we won't. I would really like to get him under us, but we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. I'm going to throw you guys over there, and I'll throw you guys up here too, just in case. Here you go. Boom, boom, boom! Nice. Uh, other couple comments we gotta get to. So one, okay, so I asked you guys yesterday whether we should have General Oliver resign or whether we should have him stay as uh, our leader. So overall, there's support on both sides, but at the time of this recording, there's more support for Gen General Oliver to stay on as the leader. So there's a, just a little bit more support for Oliver to remain leader. So we'll get Oliver soon enough with a great debate once we go down that way. Submitting his authority in the uh, defense, Mojave Defense Committee. And unlock his focus branch and allowing him to continue leading the Mojave expedition forward. So we'll go down that way. Uh, someone did recommend in the comments yesterday that we should go to war with Vegas. So we're headed down that way. Let's see. Nothing around here. Uh, I keep spending more money. How much money do we have right now? Uh, 458. That's not too bad. Grain stuff. That could be okay. Only 28 though. We lose some more passive caps, but cap passive caps isn't that bad. Monthly population. Well, we could try it again. It only lowers it by two. That's not really that bad. How about these guys down here, too? And more than two at the table. It seems we have underestimated the strength of New Vegas. Should we not be careful, we could find ourselves at war with a third party over the Hoover Dam. Our troops are barely enough to hold off the NCR as it is. We cannot hold against a combined Vegas Legion assault. However, we should begin planning for one. Cool. We'll work with Benny to help him understand that the Republic is a place for upsetting businessmen. Well, the Legion will probably crucify him for a hilarious montage Montage, at some point. Well, we'll see what happens. Even though Overall Blues still moves pretty darn quickly. Well, he might be able to go to war soon enough. This might not be enough division, so actually I'm going to go with another two divisions right there. And that might be enough to hold the line. Wait, hold on. Well, that actually make, probably makes more sense. You know what? Send one more over. And if anything, I can call the Special Forces too, so... It'll be all right. Hopefully. And we got more infiltration tactics, so we got more recon anyway. So we're done with our land auction. Huzzah! 2278. It's just a little bit ahead of time. Grab some more output, even though we don't really need it too much. So yeah, someone did recommend that we go to war with Vegas. We will. Obviously, we're trying to get better machine guns. Polyalphabetic ciphers. Uh, let's see. Stick with Oliver. NCR will join the NCR, which we've already covered. Someone also said, like, within our focus tree, I did see yesterday, or... In the, two episodes ago, that we could core like Nipton and Good Springs. Well, it's only if we keep Chief Hanlon here. So, obviously we can't do that through the focus tree. So we'll just do it anyways, manually. So, we'll go in and see if we can core Nipton. Which costs 175 versus 112. Ooh, that's only one civilian factory. You actually get more stuff down here in Nipton, so we'll do that one first, probably. 
Watch out for spies. Hey, that machine gun's nice. Ooh, that's a little, just slightly ahead of time. We want to probably wait on that. Doggos? Doggos would be nice. Doggos would be actually very nice to get. And, anything better for planes yet? Yes. We could do trap plane attackers. I don't think we really have the industry for that yet. Someone did recommend that we should... We should maybe should have gone the other way for industrial planning. What was it? Industrial or generalized production. Because work assignments gives you more max factories in a state. A little bit more, yeah. It does give us a little bit more, but... If we can actually get to New Vegas and take them out, that'd be pretty good. So, Borders and Vault 3. The Hoover Ford Operating Base. Oh, that's not bad. To get more arms workshops with Strong Hoover Dam. Let's do this one. The Hoover Dam is our primary strategic objective in the Mojave, and must be defended as such. By converting some of the visitor centers into a military planning base, we can more effectively control any battle that breaks out for the dam. Ah, who am I kidding? We can more effectively control the battle that will break out for the dam. More outposts, anti-air, and arms workshops. Actually... Bunkers, outposts. We already have 6 out of 6. We have 1 out of 2. Ooh, if that's a case... Let's see... Let's go ahead and get some level 4 stuff right there. That would probably be a smart thing to do, especially if we want to go to Vegas, which they're not going to be weak. Like, they have a lot of divisions over here, a lot of robots. Luckily, our guys have plenty of piercing, so they can probably hold on fairly okay-ish. Defense is... where? Soft attack, of course. Breakthrough defense is almost 200, which is pretty good. We might throw dogs on here. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not really sure. Because we get 5 resistance already, which is great. Resistance, reconnaissance, I should say. Throwing on dogs would give you just a little, tiny bit more reconnaissance. But, or you could throw on other stuff. Eh, let's go and get complicated circuitry. If we were to get another support company, what would we get? I'm thinking maybe maybe more reconnaissance? Logistics isn't bad. We have one, two, three. Ooh, look at them. Four. Dogs really aren't bad at all. Uh, soft attack, recon. I give you 0.5 more recon, which isn't bad, but more recon on your recon could be really nice. Watch out for spies, of course. But it only gives you one more. I don't know. I'm not sure which one we should put on for uh, our companies. So maybe you guys will let me know in the comments below. I'm totally fine with recon. <laughs> Maintenance companies might be a little crazy, but that is, I believe, it, if I remember correctly, does give us more. Enemy cap equipment capture ratio. So that's not too bad. Merits of Diplomacy, which isn't bad. And do okay boomers. Negotiate with the Brotherhood Remnants. Make Vegas see sense. You know what? This seems like a lot of fun. With the NCR against the world, you get more defense, factory output, and stability stuff. Let's go into Storm War of Hoover Dam. The dam has long been running at a mere fraction of its potential capacity. With some serious work, we could drastically... Drastic, drastically... Upscale the power production of the plant. Or we get to some decisions or restoring each of the Hoover Dam's remaining turbines and increase their power up output dramatically, which isn't honestly a problem. But after this, then we'll go ahead and help and suit up General Oliver to continue leading our country. 136. Where did all this political power from? Hmm. Best and brightest. Attack is pretty good. Reinforcement is not too bad. War sports pretty nice. Subsidized Crimson Caravan, Pacification, not Emancipation, whatever. Let's see, anything else over here? Caravan to the hub. Oh, that's true to the hub. It's not bad, though. Anything else? Green solicitations. Oh, there we go. We're going to war now. Well, are we really ready to go to war? Well, we'll see what happens. How many outposts have we built? Ah, uh, we can wait till 50. We can wait 10 more days. Happy 2279, everyone. I hope you're ready for some real bloody conflict. Go and duplicate them. Ooh. Wait. 150. Why is there... Maybe the NCR actually has some planes up here, too. 750. If that's the case, it doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah. They do have planes over here. That's not ideal. There you go. And it is done. Cool. Well, I want their territory. <laughs> we gave them military access, so... Actually, before we do that, like a lot of manpower, quite a few divisions. We're going to need. Let's not call our allies. In. Let's see. If, I want to see if we can actually hold them off. Are they not? Hmm. Okay. Well, I thought they would be. Uh, well, we give them some time. They might attack. So, the great debate. 
For the months following the battle for Hoover Dam, the Mojave Defense Committee has endlessly debated our strategy. Praises land on both Oliver's and Hanlon's hands, but so has the extensive criticism. Discontent within the committee is coming to a head, and only one of the two influential characters can lead the expedition forwards. Cool. Alright, well, if they don't want to do anything... What if we come back here? Now we could try to attack. That might prove okay. Hmm, you know what? Let's pull him back, actually. Because if we can actually attack and win, that'd be great. But I kind of doubt it. kind of really doubt it. You know, screw it. We're just going to score this anyways. No more resistance, please. Thank you. Thank you. Can you guys actually go all, like, right here? Can you guys go up there? Nope. Can you actually win over there? Actually, yeah, we can. What the heck? Going to pick it these guys all another time. I'm a little surprised that we can actually win right there. Like, all right, we're doing a plenty of air damage. Lightweight metals, nice. Monoplane fighters, why not? Now, obviously, they're going to be funneling more soldiers in. It's going to get a little bit more and more difficult to win the battle. But as long as we're doing okay, we're doing plenty of damage to them. 72, drop their strength, please. Okay, we got that. That's surprisingly a little easier than I thought. Do they not have this as a core? No, they, they have it as a core. No, they definitely do. Oh, there they go. Hello! They didn't like that very much, did they? Well, we've lost 74 guys versus 77, so it's about equal. But that's not too bad, since we're using infantry and they're using robots, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, let's grab some of this. Simpax will be nice. 80s, Alamo Chapter, Train Mongrels. And this technically does give us access to these folks over here, so... And they will fight us if, once we go to war with the Legion. That's not really good. We probably should finish this war off as fast as possible since four divisions might be able to hold out a Hoover Dam against, well, over 10. I don't want to do math right now. Maybe 15. Good, great debate. Not bad. And cement Oliver's authority. Despite the possibility of a challenge from Hanlon, General Oliver has succeeded in retaining the confidence of the Mojave Defense Committee. The victory of his policy choices at recent committee meetings has solidified his authority, ensuring he will continue to command the expedition going forward. Political workhorse... Nice, that's what I love. I love political power. Alright, you know what? We're going to risk it. As long as they don't raid us, we'll be okay. Alright, they're suffering more casualties than we are. And General Oliver, or Lee Oliver, hopefully he's getting more experience. You know what? I'm going to risk it even more. Risk, 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 risk. Good, good, good. And we've cemented Huzz Authority, a shared vision. Look at that. More planning and attack? Despite many of their tactical differences, Hanlon and Oliver both share strategic visions for the Mojave, especially when it comes to competing with the Legion away from the dam. Together, they make a formidable strategic team. Backyards workshops? Don't mind if we do. Let's go ahead and grab some of this refined tools. Alright, so they stopped attacking once. Are they out of robots? Look at how, look how weak they are. They, combat robots do cost quite a bit more to make than support robots, but at the same time... I, I like that we can see everything here. Nice. And we have 56% to total army intel. Are they? They're out of robots. What has New Vegas been doing this entire time? Son, I don't know what you've been up to, but uh, this is going to be dangerous to do. Now, I don't want everyone doing that. I don't want y'all all to move up there. Once they win the battle for good and for reals, we will... All right, gonna stop attacking. Oh no, hold on. You you hold, just hold for now, and do that. You can help support the attack. Just don't actually go over there. Can we actually? No, don't move. Don't move. You can help support the attack right there. Now this is a little crazy. Probably not very smart. But if we can take him out, that's probably be the most important thing we can do. All right, so you know what? We're gonna stop attacking. All of us are gonna stop attacking, and we're gonna rectify our lines. Do not let them move. And boom. There you go. You know what? You can come up, you can come down there too. No, oh, I pause it. Oopsie. There you go. An extra division will help help them out. There you go. Two hundred, three hundred. Oh. Well, yeah, I don't think they really need us. I mean, they have new Reno. They have the She. They have the NCR Rangers. So I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. Not dealing with those guys right now. There you go. There's other twelve. No, I think we'll, I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't think we really want to do that. So, war bonds? Ooh. Entice gunrunner expansions. Oh, we did get New Vegas. That's nice. The sure vision. We did. Baja redeployments. Trouble from Black Mountain. Well, that's kind of weird. Uh, let's do the first supply shipment. 
Delivered along the newly constructed line from Baker to the Mojave Outpost, our first shipment of supplies from Shady Sands should keep us ticking over our on supply. Nice. Very nice. Oh, wow. They don't really like us here, do they? Then again, why would they? They've only lost 800. I mean, they got plenty of manpower. It's really just about killing off their equipment, so. Which is a strategy you use against China and Vanilla Hoi 4. So. Because there's no way you can kill off all of China's manpower. Radar. Hmm. 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 Irrigation. I love irrigation. Wow, that's a lot of manpower. Look at that. Alright, well, they keep attacking somewhat. Could you guys, four divisions, attack right here and do well? Maybe. Just maybe. They've only lost well, less than a thousand. We've lost about a third of their losses. Not too bad. Really, just this is, this is really good. Economic resurgence, great news. Stockpile. They don't even have enough guns, do they? No, they don't. Well, okay then. You know, I'm going to risk this even more. Because we need more division on the lineup here. Good luck. This is going to be a dumb idea. It's going to be dangerous. We're going to do it anyways. Three, two, one. Go right ahead. Now, if you force the attack, you might be able to win a little bit more. Oh, one versus up, oh, those guys. Yeah, you're, you're bound to lose. Don't do that. Just help the attack right here. Help them out. Guys, I didn't call you into my war with these folks. So, I'm not going to join your wars. Y'all crazy. You know what? I'm going to go in crazier. I, I want to force the attack. I really, really do. Just go up there and surround them. There they go. Boom. Gone. We've killed off 1,000. 1,600. We've lost 405. I think this is going very, very well for us right now. War Plan Bastion, eh? Mojave Line? Sure, why not? A long-term ambition of the NCR Senate has been to construct a railway line connecting the NCR proper to Vegas. The railway serves two purposes, to both bring trade quickly and efficiently to New Vegas and assist in the rapid redeployment of NCR troopers to the Mojave as needed. Construction of a railroad joining the Lung 15 to New Vegas will begin construction using labor from the NCR Correctional Facility. What could go wrong? Absolutely nothing. You just help out right there, you'll be fine. Uh, now we're going to force the attack. Beautiful. See, the, see, Vegas is going to join us eventually, you, you know. You know. It just takes a little bit of convincing. And this way, we can expand a little bit more north and get some more, um... Manpower. Let's go and get some of this. I love high-caliber ammunition. Attacking, piercing. Good stuff. Great stuff. Nellis Air Force Base, don't mind if we do. Thank you, New Vegas. Now, I know this is not historical at all, but, you know, whatever. That's what the general would have wanted. Freed slaves. After the successful annexation of New Vegas, we found a population of slaves who were grateful for the freedom. As we do not endorse or practice slavery, we offered them freedom. A good amount of the healthy ones were willing to join our military forces for freeing them. A tool that thinks and fights. Not bad. Now, this does open up a can of worms now. Sort of a can of worms. I've got to defend these, against these guys too. Alright, so be it. So, let's do this then. Now, if you guys will be stationed up here. And I'm not, I'm not even going to bother with, uh, like, even deploying a new army general, so. You guys can stay down there. Not even going to bother. Actually, if we really want to have a good time, check out the fiends next. Why not? That sounds like a good idea. But first, let's go into Core Nipton. That's more pressing. 180, that's not bad. Only less than 30. Next research done shall be what? And uh, 907 caps, 47. We have our own trade node now. Repair the next turbine? That's not bad, yeah. Why not? That's point eight. Cost just a little bit of civilian goods. No, no problem. Scavenge vehicles. Ooh, you know what? We're going to do two at a time. Boom, boom. I know I don't, shouldn't spend political power on that stuff right now, but if we're going to get over 80%, we won't be able to take that action anymore. And you might as well maximize whatever we got right now. See, you guys don't need You don't need me. Uh, I can already tell that even though the NCR is struggling, they should be doing relatively well against the Brotherhood since NCR is so much manpower. So much manpower compared to us. It's not that hard to win the wars in Old World Blues usually, but you know, hmm. Horrors in Vault 3. Vault 3, once populated by Vault Dwellers, but long ago conquered by the Fiends in a bloody battle, is the seat of the Mojave, or Motor Runner's power. His drugged up followers constantly harass Captain McCarran and her patrols while they simultaneously hook the NCR citizens on all manners of crew drugs. They stand 
the standing orders so far have been to hold the line against the fiends, but it is time for that to change. We can't face a two-front conflict in Mojave. Well, you know, they're not wrong. That's why we opted for a three-front conflict, potentially with Vegas, but whatever. But now we have these guys to deal with as well, so it might be a little bit of a problem. But actually, since we actually won the war, boom. And we'll actually upgrade all these areas too, eventually. So. Good, all those resources. Wait, does New Vegas not have that many resources? They do, okay, yeah, they do. Alright, cool. Alright, up next, besides that, always gonna be making more of this stuff. Nipton, you might as well get upgrades first. Oh, I forgot. Technology, my bad. My bad! Try plane attackers. Don't mind if we do. Flame jumpers. You two. Hang out. And by hanging out, see, they didn't eat us. They didn't eat us at all. There you go. Now we good. Uh, resistance. Let's see. Let's go look. Resistance is. Let's see. Classification, sporadic outpost. It's still going down for Mojave Raiders. Oh, uh, Garrison Log. We've lost only less than 60 last month. Actually, the past 12 months. Now it's less than 80 in the past couple states. And we've lost about eh, roughly 300 pieces of equipment. More like 270. Not bad. Not bad at all. Obviously, this will be doing a little better. Oh, Jacobston. Jacobstown. Nice. Refine tools. Very good. Next up, land auction stuff. No, we already did that. Uh, plane stuff? Yes, we can. We get some fuel injection. And then some irrigation. Don't mind if we do, but the horrors in Vault 3. Let's go ahead and do. Reinforce cap searchlight. Um, Moose Capital of Boulder City. I'll do this one. Reinforce cap Camp Forlorn Hope. Despite its rather dreary name, Camp Forlorn Hope is one of our chief outposts, and observation points against Legion expansion should it, be, should it fall, our forces will effectively be split in two along Route 95. If we have the supply to spare, beefing up the camp's defenses will be well worth the cost. Nice. For, for some reason, the game doesn't really want me to expand my uh, ability to draw front lines. Maybe it's my mouse? Maybe, hold on, let's see. Let's go slow. Right click, drag. Maybe my mouse. Yeah, I think I might need a new mouse. Whoopsie. Whatever. Alright, give him a few seconds and, we'll, and then we'll be golden. They don't have, even have enough divisions. Three, two, uno. We've got irrigation. Let's go ahead. I'm not even going to force you guys in the south to attack. Alright. Industrial fertilizer, we could. Scrap box, motorcycles. Meh. Goggles? Sure, why not? Keep building, building, building. Oh, look at that. Yeah, thank you. We're doing well on that stuff production wise. We're making some doggos. Actually, switch them over to riders. Or really, enforcers. So, there you go. And Vault 3 will be ours. Love it. Not bad. So, do we get a piece deal or are we just going to sit here? We might just sit here. There we go. See, NCR, I don't know why it takes you so long to kill off your enemies. It's not that hard. Yeah, I think it's my mouse. It's losing its click button. I clicked too too much on this mouse. There we go. Nice. Since we do have 11 XP, army XP I should say, it's going to convert some of this over again. Remove. Add on. Thank you. Can we remove and finish? Changing? Yes, we can. Nice. Actually, we got to throw some more stuff on here, too. That's not too bad. Cool. Looking not too bad. Dam Busters, Helen's Rangers. Death Claws ate some of our team. Well, that sucks. I mean, Death Claws are pretty fierce. But still, that sucks. Infantry. Oh, let's grab some of this. Breakthrough. Alright, so I think we've done really well with Mojave Territories. So far, there's not really been anyone that can really challenge us too much. Uh, earlier on, in the very first episode of the campaign, like, the Helios chapter, not that difficult to take out, especially when you have enough preparations. Uncivil civilian unrest. There's an increasing resistance to our presence in our new territory. Groups have gathered in are becoming increasingly more brash and violent. It seems that tension is now reaching a breaking point, resulting in widespread destruction. Trade note, put them in their place. Compliance, resistance. Uh, put them in their place. I need that money. You know what? Send out many prospectors too. We might lose our guys, but whatever. Mojave Defense Commission, we don't need to see that. 
War is not an independent phenomenon. We don't need that either. So... He says, hey, I'm also do that one. We got enough money for that, right? Cool. Trouble from Black Mountain. Black Mountain has for years been broadcasting a strange garbled radio signal. Luckily, the work of a lunatic with a radio antenna, we more or less ignored the broadcast until NCR patrols started going missing near the area. Or the R. It's time for us to send a division to establish the truth about Black Mountain. Well, that's weird. Oh, well. Oh, and hopefully we can now core Nifton, even though we did get a little more population. It's only 181 still. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Less resistance, less problems. Now we just have the rest, the rest of the Mojave to deal with. You know what? We might even go into the Sky Reavers in Area 51 territory eventually, too. Just have a good time with them. Resistance is high. I don't care. I really don't care, to be honest with you. 41, yeah, whatever. We have a ton of compliance. 49%. Now, we need a lot of political power for this. That's alright. Economic, economic resurgence? Great news. Great, great news. we got plenty of money. New Vegas, Vault 3. All these places, I believe, are under us. Yeah, Ruby Hill. So, Bitter Springs. Well, except for Bitter Springs, of course. But hey, you know what? Eventually, they will be under us. What are we missing? Infantry arm. Oh, well. That's fine. Whatever. It's slowly getting worse and worse, but hey, whatever. Oh, trouble from Black Mountain. Well, that's weird. Rangers approaching Black Mountain are hearing weird ramblings about Udobithia, the promised land of mutants. After some sharp ri rifle volleys, the radio station has been silenced with minimal casualties. Among the survivors was a Mexican ghoul named Raul Tejada. Tejada. Raul has offered to work on the Mojave's infrastructure in exchange for saving his life. Is not life wonderful? For the next 24 hours, anyways. Supply increased by 40. He volunteers for service. It was either you or that postal worker, I guess. Very cool. Baja redeployments. The Baja Peninsula has fielded one of the most bloody conflicts the NCR has found itself involved in. Numerous divisions of NCR troopers and rangers have been deployed to the region where they face harsh terrain and an insurgent enemy. Those that survive emerge as grizzled veterans, the kind of veterans that Mojave Expedition needs. Well, we're a little late on that because the Baja campaign is sort of over. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. Trade for disabled, less compliance, less resistance. Whatever, get less resistance. I love, 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 less resistance. But it didn't do that much. Whatever. I mean, we'll core it eventually. I'm really not concerned about this at all. We already have 58% compliance, so whatever. Yeah, we don't have enough infantry armor, but it's already looking great. Trap and attackers, not bad. Let's go to the next level. Uh, almost 19,000 manpower. Awesome. Let's go do that. Let's go up to five here as well. Actually, no, stay on one. Stick on one for now. Go down to two. Go down to two. Make sure we fill, fill out all the stuff, and then. We'll do this, this, this. Fingerino. Ta-da. Better doggos? Yes, please. Engine advancements? Fuel injection time. Guerrilla tactics? Well, we'll change those up to and go with CQC training. Love it. More suppression? I love it. Now, someone did recommend we should go with basic laser weaponry, because that would save you money, someone, someone said, just because you don't have to buy actual bullets, even though laser weaponry does use cartridges still, so. And I did say I wanted to get ballistics, just because they're unique. If I ever play the Mojave Territories again, you got to remind me to go with energy weapons, because I'm going to forget. I play so many campaigns that I forget quite a bit, but economic resurgence, once again, great news. Staring, staring the bear in the mouth. For months, the Legion has started gathering its troops near the old weather monitoring station just beyond the Hoover Dam. We know an attack is coming any month now, and there's yet much preparation to be done. Reduce the penalty ahead of time for two years and give a 40% research bonus for infantry weaponry. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm not sure what else to say about that. That's cool. Repair the next turbine. Might as well. Who left tax breaks? No, we're doing pretty darn well, I'd say. Help out some settlements. We can only get a population growth of 112 per month. That's actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad. Oh, the claim jumpers. Landis cohort. Warden is G-O-N-E. Usually spells gone. I think I eventually want to get Cassandra more. She's looking mighty fine with that infantry attack and defense. Uh, what are we missing? Infantry armor. <sighs> Aren't we always? Well, oil machine. Oh, get yeah, more attack. That is really good. Really good. I'll probably go with Captain Papas and Cassandra Moore. Yeah, this is not bad either. Military staff, Iron Wall is pretty good. I like that one. Chief Ranger, that's okay. You do get more division organization for everyone, but this one gives you more defense for everyone. Planning, speed, max planning. Even though, 
I'm not even bothering with any of it right now. Ooh, bonus for land auction. Well, too bad we're done with that. Inside scoop. OSI director. Yeah, whatever. I gotta go with war equipment for this campaign. Next campaign, I'll switch it to laser weaponry. Nice. If anyone needs a train, go right on ahead. Because let's take a look at resistance. I, I, just, I just want core stuff. Just core more stuff if we can. New Vegas should be able to be cored relatively soon-ish. If we have enough political power, of course. During the bear in the mouth. Operational flexibility. Oh, we can't do that. We don't get more speed because we can't go down this way. Because we need a General Oliver's resignation. Oh, well. And we can't do that one either, so. Because we need this one. But we gotta have that one, which we can't do. Over here... Demilitarization of Baker. Demilitarization. That's completed focus. Camp McCarran Primacy. Ah, it's over here. Reinforce Camp Searchlight first time. Camp Searchlight, nestled in the prosperous village of Searchlight and near the Colorado River, is a strategically vital military hardpoint. While we anticipate that major thrusts of the Legion's attack will come across the Hoover Dam, it also may be possible that an attempt is made to cross the Colorado on our southern flank, near Searchlight. This cannot be allowed to happen. Our supplies reduced by 60, add more outposts, Control of this stake becomes reasonable, is reasonable, to become significant. And we lose less damage? Okay, well, I mean, all these areas are cored already. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to say about that. <laughs> we have over 20,000 manpower, look at that. Now that's pretty darn nice. Now this is a lot of lag. Okay, there, there we go. I, I thought it was going to be... Wow, I've actually not seen a four-way Legion Civil War. So we've got Aureus, Aurelius' Legion. Volpus' Legion. We actually have the Malpius Cohort here still, which is awesome. I hope he wins. I really hope he wins. And then, of course, Sons of Kaizah. Lucius. That's an awesome portrait. I love that. Any more daily compliance gain. And, of course, Volpus is here, but... <sighs> Garbage caches? I really want the Malpius Legion to win. I really, really do. But I don't think he will. Please, Malpius, please. I tried to get you when I played as Kaiser's Legion in Old World Blues 3.0, but I failed because it was on historical and to win the first battle of Hoover Dam is really, really hard for the uh, Legion. Okay, claim jumpers. Okay, well, good luck with that, guys. Oh, they're all the way up here. Yeah. I saw, at the time of this recording, I still have yet to play as Lance's cohort. Hmm. Maybe I should. But we're going to go ahead and do another focus first. And maybe do some more civilian factory stuff, perhaps? Camp McCarran Primacy. While our military HQ has always been de jour Baker, Camp McCarran has become our major supply depot and outpost in the northern Mojave wastelands. It's time to officially move our military HQ to the camp. Sounds good to me. Too bad this ain't like TNO, where you can just build more civilian factories and get more money. Or reduce the expenditure, or increase the amount, or decrease the amount of deaths that you have. Oklahoma's on fire, but hey, that's okay. Radar? Actually, with New Vegas, we already have radar, so... Not bad, Corruption and Baker. If you like to read about this one, go right ahead. That's how we've always done it. I'd rather lose political power, because that's just it's more manageable that way. More manageable. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys decide which support company we should use in the end. Because it's, it always comes up to this. Like, recon, logistics, or maintenance companies. Or we have the option of not even adding a fifth one in. So, I will leave that on the ground for you guys. Armor hardening. I love armor hardening. The harder it is... Sometimes better. Sometimes. Hmm. Very nice. And we actually probably could use a few more air bases as well. Let's do that. Leave it at two. Upgraded. Down here. Needles. Let's leave it in Nipton just in case. That'll be good. My biggest worry about the war with the Legion is not us. Because we usually do pretty well. We know how to dig in. We know how to use planes. The AI doesn't. Well, the AI knows how to use gliders and very primitive or tribal air tech. My biggest concern is the NCR itself, because oftentimes I see them just get walloped by the Legion. Now, of course, the Legion is into a four-way civil war. Whatever. But the NCR doesn't always appear to be super strong, so. Can't make care in privacy. Oh, we get some war propaganda, too, maybe. Live and let live. Well, when we go to war, the power to gangers harass our supply lines. But it's worth it for now, right? Huh. So we can't integrate Prim, obviously. Well, we need this one, which we can't do, obviously, so. That'd be kind of nice to do, but Good Springs, Nipton, integrate Prim. Go figure. Ranger stations on the I 40. Live and let live? Well, I want to do this one. The demilitarization of Baker. Our lease of the NCR town of Baker was always meant to be mandatory. 
The settlement initially acted as a staging point for our expedition as well as a central supply hub. Over time, most of these duties gradually transferred over to Camp McCarran, leaving Bakers more of a manufacturing settlement than a military HQ. As a result, the NCR Senate has seen fit to demand Baker be reintegrated into the NCR proper. We must bow to the request after all and put us in the NCR's good books. No, I don't want to lose Baker. Of all things, not Baker. Actually, is, is it just Baker that we lose or we lose other places? Do we lose like these areas down here too? That wouldn't be very cool. Do we just get integrated and absorbed by the NCR eventually? I mean, that'd be really kind of cool, actually. And then we start playing as NCR. But we'll see what happens. Well, actually, you guys, some of you guys already know. I don't know. You know, we're going to go defensive armament. I usually like offensive, but to make it a little different, we'll do that one. Good, good, good. And we've got plenty of guns, too. We just need more. We could use a few more military factories. But once we get this airbase done, we'll be, we'll be good with that. And if I'll declare one the reservation, good job, guys. New citizen care package at this point, it's not really worth it. We're going to repair the next turbine. How much money do we have? 1,200, almost 1,300, which is good. Occupied territories. New Vegas is almost ripe to be cored. Awesome, 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 awesome. Fuel injections? Inject me with some of that fuel. And grab some more range, too, while you're at it. Alright, after that, we shall do... You know what, should we do the NCR against the world? Or... Should we do Merits of Diplomacy? Because we get OK Boomers, which is cool. Negotiate with the Brotherhood Remnants. As well as... New Vegas gets a Bear's Last Meal. So, is it worth this National Spirit in exchange for losing stability and war support? We get some monoplane attackers and some power armor, which we probably never use. So let me know in the comments below. Operational security it is. If we are to defeat the Legion on the battlefield, we must ensure our plans and schemes are kept secure from the enemy. Sadly, that may mean removing some beloved... Commanders. Oh, no. Not some beloved commanders. I love my beloved commanders. They are beloved. Cryptology of... Oh, yeah, the Legion. Oh, well, you know, how would you pause on that? I guess let's do Sky Reavers. Should be slightly easier to do, at least. That'd be nice. Oh, and actually... Let's move you over to here. I should have done this earlier, but whatever. No one hopefully trying to find stuff around us. By us. There we go. That should have put down even more resistance. Save slightly more equipment. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. So much better. Well, it's not super beautiful. It'd be most beautiful if we didn't lose anything, but hey, that's just me. Service rifle. Oh, yeah. But if you get a service rifle, you should be able to maintain it. We just got 8,000 more manpower. All these are now under us. Fully able to be used. Just, I'm not sure what to say about that. More factories. 76 factories. It's been a pretty enjoyable campaign so far, I'd say. One of the odd campaigns where I've actually really, really started en been enjoying it, so. Because I usually enjoy all my campaigns, but some of them, they just drag on. But for this one, not so much. Not yet. Scavengers found nothing. Get out of my office. Cool. Operational security. Return to sender. Horrible news. A courier discovered that Hanlon has been sending false reports playing up threats to NCR to discourage our support for the war. How should we react to this treachery? Give the chief a bullet. We lose stability... War support, we get some political power. Bonus for infantry technology, John Hanlon retires. Although demoralizing to the ranger, it gives us more gives more power to Oliver. No! No! Okay, Cassandra. No, oh, Cassandra. Hello there. You're a ninja. And there it goes, the Mormons. Bye, New Canaan. So how do we do this? We have to be at war with them. Hardpoint camp. But, but we need operational flexibility for this one. So, we will offer Good Springs, and if we own it, Vault 3 to New Vegas in exchange for aid. Well, I guess at this point, reorganization of the Rangers, Ranger Corps. We just gotta wait to go to war with them. Okay, well, whatever. Let's keep doing this. Live and let live. We simply don't have the time or resources to deal with the power gangers and their breakout from the NCR Correctional Facility outside Good Springs. We need the men elsewhere. Really? You sure about that? I mean, we're, we're doing really darn well. I mean, we're not perfect. We're not doing, you know, maybe as best as the actual NCR, but I think we're doing fairly okay. I mean, we've cored New Vegas. We've put down a lot of resistance down here. We took over Vault 3. We also, like, took out the Mojave chapter early on. We've been reconstructing the turbines in Hoover Dam. Not really sure what they're getting at. I mean, if anything, I'll probably actually you know, give me all you guys. I want to make this place look just slightly weaker so that we get attacked a lot more over here, but... No, my pious, please don't lose. Please. Of all people... Oh, we did lose Baker, that sucks. Man, 
maybe I should redesign this. Like, I would at least like this specific tile here, just so that our southern portions and our northern portions are connected, or I'll just take Clark Mountain. That's not worth much. It has no factories there, it has nothing there except one infrastructure, and you have less than a thousand population there, so... If, I mean, yeah, it would look even uglier, but still. Like, I don't know. Hmm. I guess I'm all about beauty. Not really. I'm all, I'm here to have fun. You should do. You know, oh, Baja Expedition. Yeah, that's looking alright. Live and let live. Goodbye. Rangers. Oh, you don't even have demo teams on you guys yet? Oh, come on, man. Come on, Mr. Mocha Lover. What's wrong with you? Plenty of things. Let's go make them whatever. Uh, Money-wise, we've got 45. We can upgrade stuff eventually. Maybe, maybe not. Expeditions. Nothing interesting. Cool. Alright, Ranger Stations on the I-40. The I-40 serves as a vital military purpose as one of our only redeployment routes in the event of an attack. By establishing a number of checkpoints manned by members of the Ranger Corps along the road, we can be sure it remains as safe as possible from Legion attacks. At this point, I'm kind of tempted to go to war with the, with the Sky Reavers. Scavenger vehicles. Armor hardening. Oh. And there goes Oklahoma. Patrol armor. Oh, that's kind of unique. Actually, it is unique. It's not kind of unique. It is unique. Jacobston. What would it be bad core? 161. What about the... Was it Nellis Air Force Base up here? Uh, 178. I think I prefer this one to core next. That seems a little better. We still have a ship. We're still getting a lot more army XP. Or naval XP, I should really say. Building more stuff. That's good. How many more military factories do we need? Quite a bit more. Especially to fill out those close air support planes. Uh, good, Nipton. Nipton's looking mighty fine right now. Very good. Actually, we get 1.67 political power. That's not bad. Nine days, eight days. So, after this one, defensive armaments. We'll go ahead and go get some more research speed. Miniaturized circuitry. 2% more research speed. Don't mind if we do. Don't mind. Cool. A little bit of lag. All right. Oh, it's, it's just because it was auto savings. May 1st, 2280, everyone. Very, very good. All right. Well, you know what? I think that might be where we end the episode because I want to let I want your comments on whether we should do merits of diplomacy or the NCR against the world. I kind of like that one though, and we almost have twenty-two thousand manpower. Beautiful. But we're tomorrow might be the last episode if we can beat the Legion because I think a good ending for this campaign would be for us to effectively beat up the Legion and proclaim the NCR as a true contenders, the true power of the wasteland. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we'll probably go to war with the Legion, and we might take out the Sky Reavers for fun. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great rest of your day.